Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress.
back, Willow Lane, and we're Beirut. back to Beirut. Beirut. Tell my audience, first of all, introduce yourself to the camera. Uh, hey, how are you? This is Jad Gandour, and this is my uh, fall collection 2012. It was a beautiful collection. Thank you. The dresses were just magnificent. Thank you very much. How many pieces do we see in this collection? Uh, 38 total looks. 38 total looks. Yeah. Now, tell my audience what the inspiration was. Uh, the inspiration was like I, I tried to get back all the chicness from uh, the silver screen, from, uh, from Hollywood, from, from Hollywood. Hollywood. Old Hollywood. Old Hollywood. I read that in the press release. Yeah. Joan Crawford, Betty Davis, Greta Garbo. All big stars, huge legend stars. So why, this is what we try to do. Tell my audience with the fascination with Hollywood. Why? Why these screen legends that you wanted to portray on the runway? Uh, because they're big stars. Like everyone knows them. They were. They. They had chicness like no other. I. I think in the silver screen, no one has this chicness nowadays. It's yeah, certainly. You're it's absolutely so right. It's absolutely. so different nowadays. It's more. I don't want to say commercial, but it's more like. Uh, they, details don't matter as much as they used to do uh, back then. Did you have a specific star um, that you really loved? That you that you focused it mostly on? Well, I'm honestly not not a star, but I what when I design, I always have in mind the femme fatale. I love designing for femme fatale. They say I'm a femme fatale. Yeah. <laughs> I love it from head to toe. <laughs> Everything has to match. <laughs> Tell my audience, if we want to find out more about the collection, where can we go on the internet? Uh, to my website, actually, jadgandour.com, J-A-D-G-H-N-D-O-U-R. Are you on Facebook as well? Of course. And Twitter. And Twitter. Love it. Thank you. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews right here, backstage at Cipriani's. Keep watching. More fashion coming up right here at New York Fashion Week and Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week. Big champagne kisses. Stage, and I'm here with this beautiful reality star. But before she was a beautiful reality star, she was a beautiful model and still is. Introduce yourself to the camera, doll. Hi, everyone. I'm Cynthia Bailey. Uh, most of you know me from the Real Housewives of Atlanta, but I have so much history here in New York City. I was modeling here and am still doing it for the past 25 years. And you're doing a beautiful job. And today you look amazing. What are you wearing? I'm wearing Jod Gandor. Uh, Jod is a personal friend of mine. I adore him. Um, when you guys watch the show, you'll see several evening gowns that I wear that are from Jod. I, I, I love, I think my favorite pieces today was a lot of the evening that he did. I love that he incorporated leather. I go to a lot of premieres and events, and I find with evening wear, it's pretty much the same old, same old. It's I not, feel like the know, leather really tell you, edge. You know, I have to tell you, very Diana, to me, you look very Diana Ross. It's the hair. <laughs> <laughs> Even this, what you're wearing right now, is very Diana Ross. Really, well, it is. Well, thank you. I adore Diana Ross. So, uh, so do I, I darling. So do I. <laughs> so tell me, what are you ladies up to on the Real Housewives of Atlanta? Well, you know, we're in South Africa. I mean, I I've been to York, but on the show, we're in South Africa, and uh, we had an amazing time there. You know, there's always the drama that always comes with it. Always the drama, yes. Uh, we find drama everywhere we go, but... Uh, uh, but you have a lot of fun. That was amazing. You have a lot of fun on that we show, do. don't you? Hey, it's six different women. You know, everyone's doing their own thing, you know, of course, you and know. I love Andy. Tell Andy I said hello. He knows me. I've interviewed him twice already. Absolutely. Okay. I definitely will. So that's great. What are you working on? Are you working on any new projects? I'm, I'm working on a hundred things. Uh, the big thing that I'm working on outside of the show itself is I have a modeling school, the Bailey Agency School of Fashion. And for those of you who follow the show, um, then you're probably updated, but I actually do have a school in Atlanta and I'm in the middle of doing classes right now. So I came to New York for Fashion Week, but I go back on Saturday and classes start again on Tuesday. Fantastic. You are a busy, busy lady. Busy. I want you to tell my audience, where can we go to find out more information about Cynthia Bailey? Okay, um, well, there's a number of places. You can go to CynthiaBailey.com. You can go to uh, BravoTV.com. You can go to um, the Bailey Agency School of Fashion.com. Or you can just call the Bailey Agency. 
in Atlanta. I love <laughs> and it. You can Twitter me, Twitter, Twitter. Please follow me on Twitter, Cynthia Bailey Ten, Cynthia Bailey, and the number ten behind it. Cynthia, darling, thank you so much for that wonderful interview. Mm -hmm. I love you. Fabulous. I love you. You are fabulous. <laughs> and we'll be back in a moment with more interviews, more designers, and more fashion and New York Fashion Week and Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week. Keep watching, darlings. Big champagne kisses. Ooh. Fallacy dress to impress. One of a kind girl. This has been a Crybaby Productions, darlings.